So studies suggest that the investment decision criteria traditionally used by VCs or business angels are not of prime importance for success in equity crowdfunding. Instead, success is related to pre-selected crowdfunding campaign characteristics and the utilization of both private and public networks. Now that's a mouthful. Essentially, what it means is that, one, traditional approaches and criteria don't determine success. It's much more than simply bringing an idea to a pre-existing group of high net worth investors. Two, you need to have a strategic plan and to execute on that plan. And three, that plan needs to include you connecting with the crowd, building your audience by reaching out to thousands, if not millions of potential clients, customers, and investors. It's simple. It's equity crowdfunding with the key word being crowd. And you need to get your message, your brand, your idea, your investment opportunity out to the crowd to build your audience. It's not your fault if you think an equity crowdfunding portal should bring investors to you. It's that you have been misled and flat out lied to. While VCs and angels see the fact that for equity crowdfunding to be successful, it requires a significant investment from a business's customers and supporters as a negative or a problem, and would rather see more investment coming from a pre-existing investor pool, we see that as a solution. It's your crowd investing in your business. So let's just agree, traditional VCs and angels are the enemy. And outside of giving you cash and taking a significant piece of your company, essentially hijacking your company for their own ends, making you a pawn in your own chess game, fuck venture capital. It does more harm than it's worth. Phew, we've been waiting a long time to say that. Thankfully, there are better ways to raise capital. Backers. Backers Private Equity Crowdfunding.